So a lot of Christians are being called bigots because of uh, our belief in the word of God in which is our standard. And so, you know, I decided in my mind, you know what? I am a bigot. Hallelujah. Let me read the definition of bigot to you. It says a person who is utterly intolerant of any differing creed, belief, or opinion. Okay, so guess what? If I believe that Jesus is the only way, then that means that all other religions, all other ways are false. And I only have my mindset upon Jesus being the only way. Okay, and not only that, but what his word says is true to me because I am a believer. To believe means to have confidence in the truth. And guess what? I believe that God's word is true. So yes, I am a bigot, if you would like to call me that. Hallelujah. I am abiding by the word of God. Hallelujah. Because see, just like with the other religions, see, they go hard for what they believe. You can't knock them because they're sound in what they believe. But yet when the Christian takes a stand and is sound in what they believe, what we believe, we're called bigots. <laughs> well, call me a bigot. I'll be a bigot for the name of the Lord Jesus because I know, glory to God, that Jesus is the only way. He is the truth, glory to God, and the life. If I believe any other thing or any otherwise, why would I believe what I believe? <laughs> I would be a hypocrite, but hallelujah, but I believe that Jesus is the way. I believe what his word says, hallelujah. I believe that we must live according to the scripture and according to the spirit of God, hallelujah. One other thing, and I know that this is a harsh topic, but guess what? Homosexuality, transgender, all of those things, they're a sin against God. Just like when I was not uh, married, I couldn't just go out and fornicate. I wasn't out there saying, oh, fornication is okay because I like to do it because I think that it's okay to do. No, it was a sin. And even though my flesh enjoyed it, I had to crucify the flesh and bring it under subjection and allow the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, to minister to my heart and obey his instruction as he was to lead me down the path of righteousness. See, that's the difference between uh, those who practice a sin and those who are struggling with a sin. Because see, when you're struggling, that means you know that you shouldn't be doing that thing and your heart's desire is to do right. But the flesh sometimes does wrong. There's a difference between struggling and openly walking in a sin as a lot of the LGBT community is trying to do these days. They're trying to say that it's right because it feels right, but it's wrong in the sight of God. Am I a bigot because I believe God's word and what it says concerning that? No. Oh yes, I am a bigot because I believe God's word is true. And I believe just as I can't now that I'm married, now that I believe that I can't commit adultery and go out and sleep with anybody else now that I'm married, you can't go out and sleep with someone of the same sex. <laughs> it all boils down to what you believe. We believe what we believe because we believe it. Hallelujah. So just take this and, and, and meditate upon it. Digest it. You know, allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. Call me a bigot if you want, but I know what I believe. Hallelujah. And I know that he that is for me is greater than he, hallelujah, that's in the world. Glory to God.